Welcome to the very quick tutorial for using the spring templates. I'm going to show you a very quick way that you can add pictures to this template and um, kind of make it your own and, and change elements, things like that. So first looking at this template, it's in Photoshop Elements 12, but everything I'm showing today right now uh, works in all different versions of Photoshop Elements. First thing is these guidelines, they may or may not be showing for you. If they are showing for you, you can turn off that view if it's distracting by going to view and then unchecking the guides. Okay, if you want to see the guides, view and then click on guides. Now I'm just going to uncheck them here. The other thing we see is we do have some guidelines and those are for printing. So it's showing you where you need to stay inside with your text or with your images, with other things um, for what various printers have very uh, different places that they would trim and cut at. So um, depending on the size of your card, that kind of thing. So if, um, well, no, not if, before you save, you need to turn this layer off. So that layer is up here, guides, and we would turn it off because you don't want to print that, right? So you need to make sure to get rid of that one just by hiding it or you can drag it to the trash can and it goes away. To place our photo in here, there's different ways to do this, but a really, really easy way is to go to File and then Place. And just navigate to where the image is that you want to put in it, okay? So there it is, and we need to kind of bring it down to size because it's a little too big. I don't need to fit the, the rectangle perfectly in the middle, I just need to get my image the size that I want it to be. So I'm going to hold down my shift key. When we bring in pictures this way, you want to hold down the shift key and then click on the corner and drag in. If you don't click on the shift key, then when you're moving, you can make your picture too, too narrow to so kind of make them longer and skinnier, or you can make it um, flatter so the person's going to spread out. You don't want that, but holding down the shift key will keep the proportions for you. That's very important. Hold down your shift key. Okay, so I'm going to put it about like that. But notice that my picture is well um, below the opening, but I'm okay with that because I really want a larger picture and not her not be so small. This is a stock photo. It's not my child. Okay, so we can see what that looks like. There we go. I like it. Now the next thing I need to change is the text because if you zoom in, we can see that it says your message goes here. Well, we really don't want that to be on the card, do we? So I'm going to click on the type tool. I just hit T on my keyboard to activate the type tool. And so we need to scroll down. Okay. So we can see it's Marriott Pro and got a really neat color that goes well with the, with the template. And I'm just going to click in here and highlight it and then start typing. And it might be all caps. Let's see. Happy Easter. Whatever you want your message to be. And I want it to be centered, so I'm going to click the center button and then move it over here. And I'm happy with that. And I can make it bigger if I want to by clicking on the corner and dragging out. So you can alter it. So now if I'm happy with this, then I can flatten it. And a really simple way to flatten if you're new to elements is go to layer in your menu and then down to flatten. Discard hidden layers. Yep, we want to do that. Okay, there we go. And we have our template. Now I'm going to save it as a JPEG. So I'm going to do save as and then name it what I want to name it and save it as a JPEG format. This might look a little different for um, PC users, but pretty much you know you know how to save in different formats and save it as a JPEG, and there you go. I hope you enjoy these beautiful, beautiful templates.